Hi friends, welcome to Preschool Storytime with the Long Beach Public Library. I'm Ms. Shana, and today we're gonna sing a song called Let's Clap Our Hands Together by Hap Palmer. There is a part of this song where I tell you to reach high, 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 stretching for the sky. Can you do that? Can you stretch for the sky? Good. I'm gonna need you to remember to do that part because my hands will be busy playing the world's tiniest guitar, okay? Let's clap our hands together, people everywhere. Clap our hands together with the love that we can share. Clap our hands together, just stand up and try and reach high, 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 reaching for the sky. Good. Now let's bounce and shake together. We're gonna get really silly, okay? We're gonna hop like little bunnies and we're gonna freeze. So you can't move, okay? Freeze like your ice. Perfect, here we go. Let's hop and freeze together, people everywhere. Let's hop and freeze together with the love that we can share. Let's hop and freeze together, just stand up and try. Then reach high, 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 searching for the sky. Very good. Okay, last verse. Let's spin around together, people everywhere. Spin around together with the love that we can. Spin around together, just stand up and try, then reach high, 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 stretching for the sky. Very good, friends. Do you hear that? Hi, Storytime Fairy. Is this for me? Oh, thank you. Wow, that's a heavy story time basket. What's that? There's a very special treat inside. Oh boy, I can't wait. Thank you, story time fairy. Let's see what's inside. I can't wait. What's this? A little carton of milk. A measuring cup full of sugar and eggs and a whisk and a bowl and a cup of flour and Round ginger. Hmm. These seem like ingredients to make something. Wait a minute. Oh, there's still something in here. Look what it is. Oh, a little gingerbread cookie. I get it. These are the ingredients you use to bake Gingerbread cookies. That must be what story time is about today. That reminds me of one of my favorite rhymes where you get to pretend you're making gingerbread men. Okay, let's do the rhyme. For this rhyme, we're gonna need to pretend we're holding a big, big pot, big bowl, and we're gonna stir like this, okay? And we're going to need to get out our rolling pins and roll the dough. Good. And then we're going to get our cookie cutter and cut out little gingerbread men. Okay. And then we're going to put it in the oven 
and look at our watch and wait for them to bake. It goes like this. Stir a bowl of gingerbread, smooth and spicy brown. Roll it with the rolling pin, up and up and down. With a cookie cutter, we'll make some little men. Then put them in the oven till half past ten. Very good, let's try that again. Stir a bowl of gingerbread, smooth and spicy brown. Roll it with a rolling pin, up and up and down. With a cookie cutter, make some little men, then put them in the oven till half past 10. Very good. Our first story today is called The Gingerbread Man. This version was retold by Eric Kimmel and illustrated by Megan Lloyd. The Gingerbread Man. Once upon a time, an old woman and an old man decided to make some gingerbread. First, they mixed up the dough then they rolled it out on the table. Then they cut the dough into the shape of a gingerbread man. The old woman and the old man put the gingerbread man in the oven to bake. He baked for a good long time. When he was done, the old woman and the old man let him cool a little. Then they decorated him with two licorice eyes a mouth made of icing, and three peppermint buttons down the front of his shirt. As soon as they put on the last peppermint button, up jumped the gingerbread man. To their surprise, he leaped off the table and ran out the door. Come back, gingerbread man, come back, the old woman and the old man called as they ran after him. But the gingerbread man ran faster. I'll run and run and run as fast as I can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Off he goes. Down the road ran the gingerbread man. He ran past the pigsty where the old sow lay. Slow down, gingerbread man, I want to talk to you. The old sow oinked, and she started running after the gingerbread man. But the gingerbread man ran faster. I'll run and run as fast as I can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I ran from the woman, I ran from the man. I'll run from you, see if I can. Down the road ran the gingerbread man. He ran past the doghouse. The dog wagged his tail. Slow down, gingerbread man. I want to talk to you, the dog barked. And he started running after the gingerbread man. But the gingerbread man ran faster. I'll run and run as fast as I can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I ran from the woman, I ran from the man. I'll run from you, see if I can. Down the road ran the gingerbread man. He ran past the pasture where the horse and the cow stood grazing. The horse neighed, hey, the cow mooed. Slow down, gingerbread man, we want to talk to you. And they started running after the gingerbread man. But the gingerbread man ran faster. I'll run and run as fast as I can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I ran from the woman, I ran from the man. I'll run from you, see if I can. Down the road ran the gingerbread man with the horse and the cow and the dog and the sow, the old woman and the old man running behind him. 
The gingerbread man ran and ran until he came to the river. There he stopped, wondering what to do. Hello, gingerbread man, a voice said. It was a fox. The gingerbread man cried, I'll run and run as fast as I can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I ran from the horse. I ran from the cow. I ran from the dog. I ran from the sow. I ran from the woman. I ran from the man. I'll run from you. See if I can. The fox chuckled. <laughs> Why, gingerbread man, you don't have to run from me. I am your friend. I want to help you. Hmm. Look at Gingerbread Man's face. He doesn't seem very sure about Mr. Fox, huh? How can you help me? The Gingerbread Man asked the fox. Hop on my tail, the sly fox said. I will carry you across the river. You'll be safe on the other side. The gingerbread man hopped on the fox's tail. Was that a good idea? The fox jumped in the river and started swimming across. Ooh, I'm getting nervous. Gingerbread man, the water is rising. Hop on my back so your feet don't get wet, the fox called out. Gingerbread man hopped on the fox's back and the fox swam on. After a while, the fox said, Gingerbread man, the water is still rising. Hop on my head so your feet don't get wet. The gingerbread man hopped on the fox's head. The fox swam on. After a while, the fox said again, Gingerbread man, the water is still rising. Hop on my snout so your feet don't get wet. The gingerbread man hopped on the fox's snout, but no sooner had he done that than <gasps> the fox threw back his head and snapped up the gingerbread man in one bite. Ooh. But don't be sad, for that wasn't the end of the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man has gone away, but he'll be back some other day. For gingerbread men return, it said, when someone bakes some gingerbread. The end. Just the other day, I was baking some gingerbread, and I had an idea. I would make my favorite storybook character. Do you recognize who that is? It's Pete the Gingerbread Cat. That's right. Ooh, he looks so delicious. But something's missing. I know. How about some gumdrop buttons? We could give him a purple one and an orange one, maybe a green one, and how about a pink one? How many gumdrop buttons does Pete have? One, two, three, four. That's right. Can you show me four on your hand? Ginger Preet loved his buttons so much, he sang a song. My buttons, my buttons, I love my gumdrop buttons. The thing is, I'm feeling a little hungry. I think I'm gonna take just one. Boop. Did Ginger Pete cry? Goodness, no. Gumdrop buttons come and gumdrop buttons go. And even though Pete had one, two, three gumdrop buttons now, 
he kept walking along and singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, I love my gumdrop buttons. Still a little hungry. I think I'll take one more. <gasps> Did Ginger Pete cry? Goodness, no. Gumdrop buttons come and gumdrop buttons go. Or get eaten. <laughs> and even though he only had one, two gumdrop buttons, he kept walking along and singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, I love my gumdrop buttons. But I'm still hungry. And I'm just going to take another one, okay? You won't even notice, right? Pete, you won't even notice, right? Oh. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Gumdrop buttons come and gumdrop buttons go. And even though he only had one gumdrop button, he kept walking along and singing his song. My button, my button, I love my gumdrop button. Not the gumdrop button. Oh. I couldn't help it, I'm sorry. Did Ginger Pete cry? No, but he sure seems awfully sad. I have an idea, Ginger Pete. I'll give you some real buttons. How about an orange one and a pink one and a green one and a blue one? Ginger Pete loved his new buttons so much he sang a different song. My buttons, my buttons, I love my plastic buttons. The end. Now I want to share with you one of my favorite pop-up books. It's called Cookie Count, A Tasty Pop-Up by Robert Sabuda. Let's count the cookies together, shall we? And look out for the little mice. One chocolate chip cookie left unaware. One. You see the little mouse with his little chef hat? Two coconut kisses to share. One, two. The little mice. <laughs> Three twirling pinwheels to munch. One, two, three. Four peanut butter cookies that crunch. One, two, three, four. Five fortune cookies wrapped tight. One, two, three, four, five. Six stained glass cookies, so bright. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, there's supposed to be six. Six, there it is. <laughs> Seven Linzer hearts divine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight sugar cookies that shine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine Madeleines fit for a king. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. Gingerbread windows. Uh-oh. That happens sometimes with pop-up books. There we go. Ten gingerbread windows for hiding. Look at that. That's a little gingerbread house. <laughs> the end. This flannel board rhyme is called Five Little Gingerbread Lying on a Tray. Let's count the gingerbread. One, two, 
three, four, five. Oh, they're so cute and delicious looking, huh? <laughs> five little gingerbread lying on a tray. One jumped up and ran away, shouting, catch me, catch me, catch me if you can. I'm really quick. I'm the gingerbread man. Whee! Now there are one, two, three, four. Four little gingerbread lying on a tray. One jumped up and ran away, shouting, catch me, catch me, catch me if you can. I'm really quick, I'm the gingerbread man. Whee! Now there's one, two, three. Three little gingerbread lying on a tray. One jumped up and ran away saying, catch me, catch me, catch me if you can. I'm really quick, I'm the gingerbread man. Whee! Now there's one, two. Two little gingerbread lying on a tray. One jumped up and ran away saying, catch me, catch me, catch me if you can. I'm really quick, I'm the gingerbread man, Wee! Now we just have one. One little gingerbread lying on a tray. He jumped up and ran away saying, catch me, catch me, catch me if you can. I'm really quick, I'm the gingerbread man. No more gingerbread lying on a tray. They all jumped up and ran away. Oh, how I wish they stayed with me to play. Next time, I'll eat them before they run away. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, friends. I had so much fun sharing gingerbread stories with you. Happy holidays, and I'll see you next time.